Yes, the next type is hemolytic jaundice. The name itself, hemolysis produces jaundice. So, increased breakdown of hemoglobin releases increased amount of bilirubin. Here the problem is the liver is not able to conjugate the bilirubin. That much of bilirubin will get accumulated in liver. That is why hemolytic jaundice, you are getting unconjugated bilirubin's level is high. That is excess hemolysis. For this excess hemolysis, we have two types of causes. One is for babies, another one is for adults. For babies, two, three words are very, very important for your remembrance. Number one, RH incompatibility or incompatible blood transfusion. Right? Number one. Second one is erythroblastosis fetalis. Because of the RH negative mother and RH positive baby, you will very well know about the erythroblastosis fetalis. The baby will, uh, before the, in the uterus also, the baby will expire due to the excessive hemolysis. So, RH incompatibility, incompatible blood transfusion, erythroblastosis fetalis. Coming to the adult, the causes are sickle hemoglobin, sickle shaped Deficiency of G6PD already we discussed in HMP shunt pathway which is uh, G6PD is the regulatory enzyme for uh, HMP shunt pathway. If there is any problem in G6PD means they will go for hemolytic anemia. Then some toxins like carbon tetrachloride. Right. What are all the findings in hemolytic jaundice? Here the problem is before liver. So uptake is the problem. So, unconjugated bilirubin is raised in blood. Okay. Coming to the second point, urobilinogen, which is also increased in urine and feces. The unconjugated bilirubin not enters into the liver, but they are entering into the intestine and get excreted by urine and feces. That is why they are getting more urobilinogen in urine and feces. Next one is bilirubin is absent in urine. The, another important finding is alkaline phosphatase, which is actually the marker for obstructive jaundice. So, in hemolytic jaundice, it is not affected. And in pediatric hemolytic jaundice, you have to give importance to two terminologies. One is kernictress, another one is phototherapy. Kernictress means the excess bilirubin is enters into the brain through blood-brain barrier because of the excess bilirubin amount. Phototherapy means which will convert the insoluble bilirubin into soluble bilirubin and get extracted.